Hello TV fans and welcome to Lost in the Real. Today I'm going to be talking about Apple TV Plus's new post-apocalyptic series Silo based upon the novels by Hugh Howey. Apple was kind enough to provide all 10 episodes of season 1 for review, but don't worry, I wouldn't dare divulge any spoilers from this wildly unpredictable show. Even so, I can't wait to share with you my non-spoiler thoughts, so let's do it. Silo is the story of the last 10,000 people on Earth. Their mile deep home protecting them from the toxic and deadly world outside. However, no one knows when or why the silo was built, and anyone who try to find out face fatal consequences. Rebecca Ferguson stars as Juliet, an engineer who seeks answers about a loved one's murder and tumbles onto a mystery that goes far deeper than she could have ever imagined, leading her to discover that if the lies don't kill you, the truth will. Apple TV Plus has come out with some fantastic original series during its tenure. Though I can't help but feel like recently, the quality of these shows have gone down a bit. Last year they provided hits like The After Party, Bad Sisters, and one of my personal favorites of 2022, Severance. But it's been a while since a new original from the streamer has gotten me as excited as Silo. Based upon the books by Hugh Howey, this season, mostly covering the first novel, Wool, Silo is the type of ambitious, high-concept science fiction that can either be a complete train wreck or fully immersive. And luckily, this show is 100% the latter. I was in awe that in the first 15 minutes of episode one, I was already transported into this alternate reality. The production design of the cavernous silo and all of its many unique levels is a stupendous feat of ingenuity. The way the show is able to explain the rules of this society and build a captivating mystery around its inception without ever feeling like we are being bombarded with exposition is a testament to the incredibly impressive writing. I never felt like I was just a fly on the wall trying to understand the mechanics of this world. I immediately felt like I was dropped right into this silo with these characters. And that is world building at its finest. It wasn't until episode three, though, that I knew I was watching a show that was operating on a whole different level. In that one hour installment, I felt like my heart stopped beating. It was an exercise of building tension that is rarely seen on television nowadays. The way the writers are able to explain in layman's terms how certain things operate in this world and then throw the audience into this edge of your seat display of action, honestly, it, it took my breath away. There are so many layers to Silo though that make it must watch appointment viewing. And the biggest thing that kept me binging through the entire season is the fascinating abundance of mysteries at play here. Not only do we have the central enigma of what this Silo's purpose is and what is actually on the outside, but then there's the collection of these secret relics, political intrigue and conspiracy, and a string of murders, just to name a few. In these 10 episodes, I never felt like there was any filler. Every subplot and minor character has a purpose to the overall narrative. And just when I felt like the show was starting to lose its focus on what I was actually interested in, it would rein itself back in and throw you another curveball. Speaking of curveballs, it's been a while since I've seen a show have so many twists and turns that I did not see coming. I gasped and had my mouth dropped open in shock on so many occasions throughout this season. And don't even get me started on that season finale. I wish I could talk about it right now. 
but I can't. Silo does have a few surprises that you might see coming, but it has so many more that will leave you completely dumbfounded. I also have to commend the ensemble cast of this series. That includes David Oyelowo, Rashida Jones, Rebecca Ferguson, Tim Robbins, Common, and Game of Thrones, Jorah Mormont himself, Ian Glenn. There are a vast array of characters within the silo, but the writers do a fantastic job of keeping the focus on the people that are most important at the right time. I always felt like I was getting to know a certain person right when I really wanted to know more about them. And the way that all of these characters, even the villains, are given a proper backstory and perspective into their purpose truly made me care about everything that was happening up on the screen. As with all things, there are some negatives that I have to bring up. First, I loved Rebecca Ferguson in this show and you can feel the passion she has for this project as star and executive producer, but her accent was a little all over the place here. I almost wish she was allowed to speak in her normal dialect because it was distracting at times. The other thing I have to point out is that if you are one of those people that can't get past plot holes and contrivances, Silo might not be for you. There were many things that furthered the story along that didn't make much sense or felt a little too convenient, but in this type of genre, I always feel a little more generous in allowing myself to let those things go. 2023 has only had a few shows that have really captivated me so far, those being HBO's The Last of Us and Netflix's Beef. And I am really happy to be adding Apple TV Plus's Silo to that list. This is a series that had me hooked from the very beginning until the very end of episode 10. It sports a cast of intriguing characters, is rich in its world building and storytelling, it's filled with mysteries that will keep you guessing, and provides allegorical and philosophical themes that will keep your mind racing. Now, we just need to make sure that Apple renews Silo for a second season because this is a story that deserves to see its proper end. Thank you so much for watching Lost in the Real. What are your thoughts on Silo? Have you read the books by Hugh Howey? And what other novels would you like to see translated to the small screen? Sound off in the comment section down below. And until next time, my friends, take care.